welcome back you guys. Today we're going to be working out in the Glock 42 model slide. Now, I want to just kind of quickly take you through the process of what we're going to be doing to this slide and I also kind of just want to uh, give you kind of the background story of the slide as we do have some extra parts here and some of the parts have some extra wear on them and coatings on them. So kind of let's just start from the beginning. We had a local customer that said, hey, can I come see you? I want to talk to you about some work that I want to have performed. I do have a Glock 42. I know you guys work on them, but I'm not 100% sure what is actually offered. Now, for us, that was kind of like, yeah, let's let's take a look at it. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, uh, stuff is a little bit restricted over some of the other model slides just due to the overall size of the slide and the thin front sidewalls. There's only so much we're actually going to offer on a model like this. So this individual came in, we kind of just uh, went through the process of what do you want to have done, what are your, what's, your, uh, what's your overall goal of what you're wanting it to look like. And I want to just kind of quickly take you through that cut work and then once again we're going to get to these parts down here and discuss those a little bit more. So on this particular build we're going to be doing a single top window, we're going to be doing a step down to remove the text over on the sides, uh, just in the front section, and then we'll be doing a double window here and we're going to be doing a cobra nose. Now. One of the other things I want to add to this is that those of you watching this video that have a Glock 42 thinking about having something done, we do also offer the optic cut on the Glock 42 for the micro dot optics, which is kind of like your 507K, your Romeo Zero. Any of those micro dots can be installed on this particular slide with the removal of the rear dovetail. So they'd be cut to the rear of the slide. Of course, those optics have one built in. So once again, we're not going to be doing that in this build video. But I did want to uh, point that out for those of you that are just watching because you uh, found the video because it was a Glock 42 or you want to have it done or specifically just want to have an optic cut done, that service is offered. All right, guys. So let's just kind of talk about some of the extra wear and tear that you guys see on the slide. Obviously, this is not uh, a showpiece. This is a weapon that's of being used or a uh, daily carry at some point in time. Uh, and it has a lot of extra wear on it because it was attempted at least once or a few times on hydro dipping and it was uh, prime prepped. So basically it was uh, coated with the primer that they recommend you use uh, through whatever vendor you choose for your hydro dipping and then you would use the film. So um, that is why it has a bunch of extra stuff on it. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna be uh, pulling that off and removing it. You guys can see that on the frame quite a bit more. You can see all this white that's in here. So this is all the primer. So that was one of the goals of bringing it to here was I want to get all that script off and I want to get this thing back to what it's supposed to look like. So we have some extra parts here. Um, we've got a frame. We're going to be doing some just some coloring on. We do have a light. Um, this is the kind of like the, the shell of the light here that we're going to be color matching as well. We've got a, um, a takedown lever. We've got a, a slide stop. We've got a mag release. Those are all going to be re, uh, recoded as well. They just happen to be pretty rough for what they are. So we're gonna go through and, and match those. So in this particular case, the way we have this set up for the color combination is we have a frame in Glacier Silver, okay? And then all the other parts that you basically see here are gonna be done in rows. So Glacier Silver, this guy's gonna be rose. The uh, the light that's on the front here is also gonna end up being, um, well, this is actually the wrong side, that's that side. Um, this is actually going to end up being rose, so we, this will kind of give you just a little bit of a visualization here. So guys, at this time I think what we need to do is we need to jump over to the CNC machine. We need to knock out this cut work, then we're going to get right into coloring. I do have all the other parts here. So I've got all the internal uppers, all the internal parts for the lowers, I've got the barrel, the spring. So we are going to get to see this as a full build uh, at the end. So I'm really excited to see how the, um, how the Glacier Silver and that rose combination uh, just kind of plays out. So guys, we'll see what we come up with. exactly how this came out in the end now that we have all the cut work has been performed the coloring has been done we're put back together we did a step down on the side to remove the factory text we have a dual side window cobra nose and then we went ahead and added 
the top window with the chamfer on that top window. Overall, I really do like uh, the way that this came out on this smaller pistol. Obviously, it's limited on services that are offered just because of the thin side walls, just because overall it is a smaller slide. Overall, really, really pleased. One of the things I do want to take note of here is the trigger is going to be replaced. I do know, know that the owner said they're going to be either getting a trigger shoe or a trigger. Uh, that was in discussion whenever we uh, we took it in, whether they wanted to have us put that in or not. And I think a lot of it just came down to turnaround time and actually acquiring the part. So that's going to be changed out. Overall, I think it's going to look really, really nice. Matched the, uh, the light to the slide and, of course, to a couple of the accent pieces here. Overall, guys, I think it's just a huge change over where we started to where we are now. Of course, this, this particular uh, project came in a little rougher than we would typically see because of the hydro dip attempt. But the, the key thing here to understand and to remember is that whenever it comes through here, we're going to take our time and just try to get everything stripped off of it. Everything done completely as far as the uh, the frame, the accent pieces, the light, the slide, just whatever you're wanting to have done. We're going to go ahead and get all those extra parts cleaned. We cleaned the pins that are in here. They didn't have anything to do with the project. We just, you know, when it's a part, we're going to go through that process. I do think that the, the sights could probably be replaced to something like a steel sight. Um, you know, the plastic ones are only going to last so long. They're only so durable. Uh, but overall, changing out the trigger, probably swapping out those sights, I think it's going to be a really nice overall change from where we started to where we are now guys i would highly recommend that you follow us on instagram facebook um, of course like and subscribe on youtube that we can get the notifications one of the things i would encourage you to do is to go to our webpage and sign up for our emailer list um, we don't have a lot more sales running this year our next big sale that we're going to be doing is going to be for the uh, thanksgiving black friday event which obviously starts thursday and it ends on monday several days of a sale that we offer However, if there's anything that does happen between uh, now and then, the place that you're really going to be notified is on that subscriber list. So you're going to get an email from us that's going to say something like, hey, we, we're just doing a flash sale for the people that have subscribed, or we're doing uh, some sort of an event that's local and you can come see us. We really don't sell anything, so what we're not going to do is spam you with a whole bunch of emails every other day telling you about something you know that's late, latest and greatest that we want to sell you because we don't sell anything. So we would encourage you to sign up on there. Also, this, uh, this allows us to reach out to you and notify you of anything new that's just going on. If there's a new account or a new app that comes up, something has changed with our calendar, our location, um, this, is, this is where you're going to be notified. So definitely the way to go there. Um, guys, if you happen to have any questions about anything, feel free to use that contacts tab on our webpage, of course. We are always working on weapons that you don't see on the webpage. The Glock 42, I think we only have one picture on the main page. Um, of course, this one will be listed. But the point being here is that we do still offer services on stuff that you don't see. What you do see on the webpage are the most commonly requested services. Those are the ones that we do turn out the fastest because we do them the most over any other project. What it doesn't mean is that that's the only thing that we offer. So sometimes throughout the year, we will turn down projects. If we're super busy, we can't fit it in. We don't want to give you this crazy two, three month uh, turnaround time. That's just something that we're one, we're not going to take your stuff in for that long. And two, if we just can't get it out in a timely manner, we're just not going to do it. Um, but you will find us doing some crazy projects as well. So hopefully we can kind of come to an agreement on something that you want to have done. You can reach out to us and just kind of let us know. We're always going to say, send us a picture, send us uh, uh, some kind of visualization. If it's a logo, we need to see what it is. If it's a cut pattern we've already done, we need to see what it is. If it's some work from another vendor and you're looking for something similar, we need to see what it is. So guys, always just um, shoot us an email. Let us know what make and model you have, what you're thinking about having done. We're going to reply back and we're going to kind of move that forward and getting you a full quote, even if it's not on the web page so guys as you guys know there's there's tons of videos 200 videos i think we have here on youtube and there certainly is not 200 different services listed on the web page so therefore we do offer a lot of things that you just don't happen to see and then of course if you follow us over there on instagram that you realize all the time that we do stuff that um that's nowhere to be found i can't find a youtube video i can't find it on your web page i don't even know where it came from and you'll see all kinds of crazy stuff get posted over there because some of those are my projects and other ones are just really super advanced projects that we've taken in that we have a customer that's super lenient they're like here's a budget here's a gun do your thing let me know and then that's kind of where those weird projects come from so um, we do see those those every once in a while and if we happen to have the time during the build we will do a build video otherwise you're really gonna have to follow along on instagram or facebook in order to catch the wild stuff guys once again if you need anything just let us know and um we'll see what we uh what we come up with next